Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Dark Souls 3 on New Game Plus 7 difficulty. This is my guide and walkthrough. We are currently on part eight, uh, 18, the Pontus Sullivan boss fight. So I've equipped a weapon that's either called the Stormbringer or the Storm Ruler. I don't know what it's called. It's called one or the other, obviously. It's at plus 5, and my reason for equipping this weapon is for the damage output. It happens to be the only great sword that I have, so I'm going to use it. In a, in a largely uncertain fight, there's one thing that is certain at first, is that he's going to do a rush attack more or less on the stairs by the time you meet up with him. And you can parry it, and then after you've parried it, you're going to walk up to him and then do the repost. And what I like to do is a charged R2, and then quickly move away from him, although the camera is really tight and kind of crazy, up until the point where you get away from him. And this is phase one of two, and in phase one, we're going to keep our distance because we want to bait him into doing a jumping attack at us. Right there. Parry. Repost. He'll drop. Charged R2. And by this time after you've done that combination twice, he'll drop. And he'll get ushered right into phase two. Now you can hit him a couple of times but just back off. Um, so this is the point at which he'll summon the clone. And this was my biggest concern about this fight because it took me almost uh, four, four or five hours, I'm not sure, it was pretty much hell on, just hell on fucking earth. But what happens here is that the Mimic will make a move and then the Pontiff will do the same move. And, and after that, after they've done their moves, the Mimic will reset into Pontiff and then it will make another move. So what we're trying to do here is bait them into doing um, that. That's the main move we want to parry although we failed miserably right there. Um, there's their projectile, the first of two that you may see in this. They should do it again. Um, that is the one that doesn't have much range. The other one has much more range and it's much deadlier. Now how this is going to work for you is that you want the mimic to do the attack which you sidestep and then you and then the pontiff will do the same move and then you're going to parry that. So. It's the only move that I'm really comfortable appearing, and I was at my wit's end. Um, unfortunately, some things like what just happened occur where they do that really fast uh, poke. But here we go. Sidestep the Mimic's attack, parry Pontiff Sullivan's, and since the Mimic is around, um, we can't do the charge star too, so we're just going to have to back off. Now, you don't really want to keep your distance here. You want to be pretty much in melee range be just because we're going to bait that attack. They're pretty flexible about letting you heal as well. Okay. Sidestep, parry. I don't know how many parries you have to do, but when you're doing this, it seems like it's, you know, I got to this point where I needed one parry and one parry only, and I failed so many times. I. This is probably when I when I, I was thinking to myself when I was doing this, this pretty much is the entire guide right here. If you can do this, you can do everything else with confidence probably. And we're not going to outright kill the Mimic just because we have too slow of a weapon and I tr believe me, I tried with the shield, the technique of, of just uh, blocking, but he, the main problem did I? Oh, I failed again. Heart wrenching. It's just heart wrenching. Oh man, at the end of this, I was I was shaking. My teeth were chattering. Like I was a wreck. And we're just gonna back off. The nice thing is they they do let you heal, which is nice. I like that. And they're not too aggressive if you keep your distance, which is nice. So. Don't worry if you get hit by the projectile because um, if you get hit by the Mimic's projectile that you'll have iframes until you get to your feet which is a nice courtesy that the game extends to you. And you know just always keep it full health because the damage, it's all the damage, it's just the damage that you get dealt is, is crazy and it makes you not be able to survive hardly anything in this fight so it, it's true. It's parry or die. Parry or die. We almost died. 
so it's a it's a nice room it's a nice size room as well so there's plenty of, of moving back and forth keeping your distance keeping uh, just keeping the Estes flasks all the way filled up and your health topped off but I have to tell you guys um, not many things I've done on my channel are as hard as this fight and how long ago have we been we've been searching for this parry for so long as well just so long so we're, we're keeping in melee range here there's the projectile one two all we need to do or excuse me all we have to do is, is have this guy jump at us we'll sidestep the mimic it, it's just jumping out of the way of the mimic parrying the pontiff they're doing their projectiles be wary of the stairs too I don't ever trust the stairs uh, just because I don't want my parry to get uh, messed up it, it's, it seems like a strange choice to have this weapon I, I, I was kind of asking myself why I even have this weapon but it has good damage output and we're, we're just keeping on top of our health waiting for that mimic okay there's the projectile see it doesn't have much range at all Come on, you bastards. There we go. You fucking bastard. Ooh, I, I missed it again? Are you serious? That's how nervous you get. But we're going to pop an ember here because I don't think we have any more heals left for ourselves. And... Just the stress level. Like, my whole body was sweating. Limbs shaking. Teeth chattering. It was just insane. There we go. Perry, there you go, motherfucker. Eat that shit, bitch.